What's up everybody? Welcome to the 11th video on how to use SynthEdit. So far I've been showing you one thing at a time to explain each module or concept thoroughly. Now that we're at this point, there are a couple of things I'd like to do to improve upon what we have using some of the concepts that we've used along the way. The first thing I'd like to do is pull this Moog filter out of our synth and put it in a container of its own. So I'll add a new container inside of the synth container. And I'll name it Moog Filter. Double click on that and it will open up its own window. Now select the Moog Filter and its controls and press Ctrl X to cut them. Go to the Moog Filter window and paste the filter inside. Now, the Moog filter is a single channel module. It's a mono filter. I'd like to make it stereo, so what I'll do is copy just the Moog filter, not the controls, and paste it again. Now we have two Moog filters and one set of controls. Connect the controls to the new filter. Now, each filter will be set to the same value, however, it can have a unique sound source passed through it. Currently, we only have one sound source, this oscillator. In a moment, we'll add a second oscillator, but for now, connect this oscillator to the Moog filter twice, so there are two audio out plugs added to the I.O. mod. Connect the first audio out to the first Moog filter, and the second audio out to the second Moog filter. I'll insert another I.O. mod to handle the outputs. Now, connect the first Moog filter's audio out plug to the spare plug on the I.O. mod and do the same for the second Moog filter, making sure that there are two outputs as well. Lastly, I'll rename the audio out plugs on the IO mod to input. Let me clean up the area a little bit. We don't need this list entry anymore, so I'll delete that. Let's go ahead and duplicate the oscillator and the list entry box. Delete the patch cord from the first oscillator to the second plug on the Moog filter. And connect the audio out of the second oscillator to the second plug. Connect the pitch of the MIDI to CV module to the pitch of the new oscillator. Now we want to be able to control each signal's volume, so to do that, we need another VCA module. Copy and paste the VCA, and connect the output of the VCA to the spare plug on the I.O. mod. In the main container, delete the second patch cord here, and replace it with one connected to the second output plug. If I connect the first output plug to the first VCA, and the second output to the second VCA, we have a complete signal, but the second VCA module is not being modulated by this gate, so its notes will continuously ring. I could just use the signal out from the ADSR to control the volume of the second VCA, but I'd like to have control of both channels' volume. I'd like both channels to have the same envelope applied, but I want to individually control their volumes. Select the ADSR2 module and its volume knob, and copy and paste them. Then connect the Attack, Decay, Sustain, and Release controls to the new ADSR. We need to connect the gate from the MIDI to CV module to the gate of the new ADSR2 as well. Now connect the signal out from the ADSR to the volume of the new VCA module. I'll rename the first volume knob to Volume R. and the second volume knob to volume L. Lastly, we need to connect the oscillator pitch plug on the switch module to the new oscillator. So there you have it. We've put the Moog filter into its own container and made it into a stereo version. 
We've also added a second oscillator to the mix, as well as a dedicated volume control for that channel. So we now have a two oscillator stereo synth, which will enable us to create more abstract sounds. Thanks for watching. Please rate and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.